I'm going to dive right in on page two at the bottom of the page, measure 12, where you first start. I'm just going to pronounce the words slowly, and then we'll get them uh, in the tune of the in the rhythm of the tune. So the first word is hine. Um, the e vowel in that first word is a closed e vowel. That's the only exception to the pronunciation guide on the last page of the score. It's uh, the other e's are open, and we'll get to that in a moment. So please just ask, say after me, hine. Again, hine. Once more, hine. That's right. And ma tov is actually. Um, uh, he has a hyphen between them. It doesn't really matter for pronunciation point uh, perspective. Ma tov, ma tov. The O can actually be a little more closed um, than what he has on page eight. It's not tov, and it's not tov. It's just a sort of standard closed O. Ma tov. So say after me. He ne ma tov. He ne ma tov again. He ne ma tov once more. He ne ma tov. Very good. So, umanaim, over the page turn, umanaim, you want the uma to lead into the naim. Umanaim. And the na, you can almost imagine that there's a y after the na. Naim. I've seen it transliterated that way before. So, the end of measure 12 going into measure 13 is umanaim. Say that. And go umanaim once more, and go umanaim. Very good. So let's do twelve and thirteen. Here we go. Hine matovu manaim. That's right. And now it's a four-bar phrase with no breath. So I'll finish the phrase for you. Shevet is the Hebrew word for seven, and it sort of means abundance or lots of. Um, because seven is kind of a number of perfection or, or abundance. So that E is an open E, Shevet. So if you can say Shevet, and the T is aspirated, because Hebrew is a very guttural and in-your-face and explosive consonant kind of language. Shevet Achim. Achim means brothers or brethren. Um, Shevet Achim basically means, uh, it's translated typically as, Behold how good it is for brothers to, to dwell together. So, Shevet Achim, say that. Shevet Achim, good. Gam Yachad. Yachad, again, the CH in Hebrew is very far back in the throat, much more like Bach than it is like the, the German Ich, which is too far forward. So, Yachad is that word in measure uh, 15. So say after me, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Good. Now we're going to do all four verses, rather all four measures, starting from measure 12. Here we go. Hine Matovu Manaim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Again. Hine matovu manaim shevet achim gam yachad. That's the whole text except for what you have at the very end at the top of page 7. So flip briefly to page 7 and you'll see at measure 47 we've got a little lie, 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 which is sort of like a, it's like a Hasidic wordless nonsense syllable uh, that's very joyous. So L-A-I is pronounced lie. Lie, la, lie, 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 and the L in Hebrew is very far forward. Lie, 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 la, lie, lie, etc. Lie, 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 la, lie, lie. Whatever you have, it's just very light and tripping and uh, and pleasant, but it's sort of um, it's sort of like Hebrew for dooby dooby doo or shooby doo wah <laughs> or something like that. So anyway, that's the story. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And on the spreadsheet, which accompanies this uh, diction file, you will have, um, you'll have some, some breath markings as well. Um, that's all she wrote. Thanks a lot.